friends, today we are going to draw an Easter gnome. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. We hope you're going to follow along because art is always better with... Friends. Friends like you. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use a pencil or whatever you feel comfortable drawing with. You also need some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's start by drawing our gnome's nose. And we're going to draw it in the middle of our paper, but towards the bottom so that we have room for his really tall hat. We're going to draw a circle or an oval shape. I'm going to draw it right about here. And I'm going to draw it kind of big, about that size. Then let's draw the bottom of the hat coming out to the left and also coming out to the right. And I love that the little gnome nose is overlapping the hat. Now let's draw the first part of the hat. We're going to draw a little curve that comes up on the left and also on the right to match. This is the little part of the hat that's folded over. Then we're going to connect those two lines together. Okay, now let's draw the Easter ears sticking out of the gnome hat. We're going to draw two diagonal lines. We're going to start kind of close to this bottom part. We're going to draw a diagonal line coming up and to the right, and also over here to the left. Yeah, then let's draw the ears. We're going to first draw, start here, and we're going to draw a big curve coming up to the left. This is like a little hole or a slit cut in the hat. Then we're going to curve back down to that little hole in the hat. There's our first bunny ear. Okay, now let's repeat that same step for the right side. You could also draw the ear folded over if you want, but let's just draw it the same. We're gonna draw a big curve coming up to the right, the same height. That's okay if they're a little different. Then we're gonna draw another curve coming down and connecting back in. There we go. Now let's draw the inside of our bunny ears. I'm going to start up here and we could draw a curve that matches right next to the outside shape. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left side all the way down to the bottom. Let's repeat that over here on the right side. We're going to draw a curve for the inside and also on the other side. There's our bunny ears. Now we're ready to draw the hat. Let's start here and we're going to draw a diagonal line that's going to come up and connect to the ear. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to imagine this line going behind the bunny ears and coming up and out from here. And we're going to come up, look right to the middle. This is where the point on our hat is going to be directly above Yes, that's awesome. It's right above the nose. Then we're going to draw a little curve that comes around at the top. You could also draw pointy, super sharp if you want. Come down and then connect to the ear. You did it. That was kind of tricky, but mm -hmm. it looks awesome. And I love that our two hats don't look exactly the same. Even the ears look a little different. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings are looking different than ours too, because the most important thing is... To have fun and practice. And practice. All right, let's keep going. What should we draw next? The Easter egg. Yeah, let's do it. We'll draw it right in front of our gnome. Let's start by drawing the bottom part of the egg. We're going to draw the letter U, but it's kind of a wide letter U. Easter eggs are, or eggs are kind of difficult to draw. They're kind of a funny shape. They're bigger on one end and then kind of smaller on the other end. So now we're going to draw the top of our Easter egg. We're going to come up close to the nose, curve around, and then back down. My egg is a little short. That's okay. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the arms coming around and hanging on to the egg. We're going to start by drawing the shoulder. We're going to draw it curving around for the elbow and then connect into the egg. Now let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll start up here at the hat. We're going to curve around to match and then connect to the egg. <laughs> then let's draw a sideways U or a backward C for the hand. And we can draw a letter C on this side for the other hand. 
Then we're gonna keep drawing outside of the egg and we'll stop right here for the first part of the arm. Let's do that same shape over here on the right side. Gnomes have really big beards that almost cover their entire body. So let's draw that next. We're gonna start right here next to the shoulder. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down and connects to that line right there. Yeah, there you go. And the same thing on the right side. We'll start here, draw a zigzag line, comes down and connects to the arm. Then let's imagine that beard going behind the arm and coming out the bottom. And we could draw more zigzag lines connecting to the bottom of the egg. <laughs> and then the same thing on the right side. Connect in. Now what's our gnome missing? Feet. Yeah, big feet. We're gonna start here and draw a big curve that comes out from the beard, around, and then connect to the egg. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Draw a big curve going the other direction, around, and then connect it. Oh, let's add fingers. I'm gonna just draw two curves inside of the hand shape and then two over here on the side too. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing our Easter gnomes. Yours is my favorite. Except we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? We still need to color it. Yes, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You could also color it any way you want. You could change the colors. You could also add different patterns to the hat. Oh, even patterns to the egg. You could even add flowers in the background. Oh, that would be really cute. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it! We finished coloring our gnomes and yours turned out awesome. I love it so much. Thanks! I feel like the hat looks like a carrot. Yeah, upside down and the sleeves are leaves. It's perfect. Thank you. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring or color it any way you want. You could even add a background and more Easter gnomes. Yeah, they could be really small in the background and also you could draw more Easter eggs. We hope you had fun drawing Easter gnomes. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have fun changing your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.